Hey guys, how are you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. Welcome to another Tarogi training video. And in this one, I wanted to show you my box collection. But in all seriousness, I wanted to show you what I got from Bells of Steel Canada. So starting this channel, one of the things I wanted to do apart from Olympic weightlifting was to check out and highlight all the options for us Canadians in terms of building a home gym. Of course, our neighbors down south have plenty of options, but up here, we're a little bit more limited. We can definitely shop from American retailers, but when you factor in shipping and sometimes duties, it's not always worth it. And from hours of scouring the internet and trying to find the best deals and more importantly, what's in stock, I came across Bells of Steel. So from my understanding, they are a Canadian based company, even though you can get Bells of Steel in the States as well. Now I'm not gonna be doing a review quite yet on all of this equipment, but my goal today is just to have fun unboxing and then spoiler alert, there is a rack here. I wanna put that together and get it set up right here behind me. So that means this has to go. Well, it doesn't really have to go. I just have to move it somewhere else. If you've seen some of my videos on Instagram, this garage has a lot of things in it. Along with myself, my parents have used this as a storage area. So um, you're gonna see a lot of things on the sides. All right, so let's get to it and get unboxing. So this first thing here, you can probably guess what it is. It's kind of, it's kind of raining down already. Um, it's just chalk. I mean, he's actually in here. There's eight blocks of chalk in here. I'm just gonna put it to the side and um, I'll put it in my chalk bucket a little later on. Okay, so let's get to this first box. Actually, you know what? Let's get to this first. I mean, these are just your standard. Ooh, that's interesting. The metal's a little chipped already just from shipping, but honestly, it's not really a big deal as long as it works. I've never seen colors chip like this, or at least the ones I've used, I've never seen chip like this. Whatever, it's not really gonna change its functionality as long as it works, as long as it uh, stays on the bar, it's what it's there for. Can you see that right there? So that, some of it chipping off. All right, so on to this little package here. I think this is something um, I'm already gonna be disappointed in just because, so I ordered leather straps, which actually look pretty nice. But thing is, where is the other one? These were kind of like dangling off here on the pallet. So it must have dropped somewhere. I don't really know. Um, it was definitely lost in shipping. That's pretty unfortunate, but um, I'll contact Bells of Steel. They're actually one of the most responsive companies dealt with already. So yeah, hopefully they can do something about that. But so far it looks pretty cool. I don't know if this is real leather, but I've never had leather um, lifting straps before. I've never really used straps before. So this is a whole new thing to me. Now this is, this is technically for their belt squat. And there's the chains here, but I think I was gonna use it for um, weighted dips. We'll see if it works well. Hopefully it does what I'm imagining, but uh, yeah, that's what that is. So this right here was free with the gym builder. Let's open it up. Pretty nice sweater. Probably use it maybe in my next workout. So uh, you can check it out then. Okay, so let's move on to this first box. What are these? Oh. So just from the name on the sides, these are the pegs that go on the sides of the power rack uh, that hold your weight plate. Let's open it up, let's check it out. I'm not gonna open all of them just cause um, there's no point right now. I don't have the squat rack up. Let's take one out here. Pretty cool. How the hell do I put this on? Anyway, I'll figure it out. Let's continue on with some of the smaller boxes. I'm not really sure what's in here. Landmine. That's what it is. You'll see that once the rack is set up as well. You're gonna notice a lot of these are accessories for the power rack. I thought I might as well get everything at once. So this right here is for bar storage, again, on the rack. So I'll put you away. I did get two of them, so I bet you this is the other one. What is this? This says single leg squat attachment. So it looks like the pegs for the weight plates, but it's padded. I don't really know what it's supposed to be used for, but I'm gonna be using it for stretching, that's for sure. Okay, time for the more exciting and interesting things. I don't know about you guys, but I'm having a blast right now opening all this. Getting a pallet like this is uh, definitely like Christmas. Again, I'll put this together later, but uh, yeah. It's a dip bar, so it's another thing that goes on the rack. Put this together later on, but pretty cool. All right, so these are safety spotter arms. Again, for the rack, feels pretty good. 
If I could just close it again, that would be fantastic. All right, there we go. This is the bench. Let's open this up. There is your butt pad. Feels pretty grippy, which is good, actually. I think I'm running out of time, so I'm gonna put this together. Um, I think a different day. Okay, this one is pretty interesting. Whoa. As you can see from the picture, this is a hex bar. So this is something I'm pretty excited about because again, if you've seen any of my videos, in terms of deadlifts, I pull sumo. Conventional, I don't know if it just doesn't really work for my body type or my proportions are weird, but I've used hex bars before or trap bars, whatever you want to call them. And um, they felt pretty good. This is going to be really interesting. And the unique thing about this is one side is open. So you can do a few different things here. I mean, it's not Olympic weightlifting at all, but uh, I don't know, I think it'll be a pretty fun addition to my workouts. That was just close to the wires for the lights, but uh, ta-da! This is definitely interesting. Look how it's packaged. All right, so the Bells of Steel hex bar. So it's got some cushions here. You can see this is wood. Another kind of wood box here on this side. And then the same cushion protecting the sleeves and uh, see how it looks. All right, there we go. This is what it looks like. Pretty nice. Spins a little bit. It's gonna be pretty cool using this. Check it out. Do some bicep curls. Just uh, trying to hit, not to hit myself in the face. And the cool thing about this is it stands up on the side. So it's got its own built-in jack so you can load the bar with uh, plates. I gotta say this was boxed pretty well. It seemed well protected so well done guys. So since we already unboxed the bar, let's go ahead and do this one. So let's go to the side here. And you can see this one is mangled up a little bit. This side is fine. I don't know who got hungry and decided they wanted to uh, try to open this up, but I think it should still be protected. So just to show you guys, um, it has one of these caps. They are secured by staples here. And that's pretty common. Uh, I have seen screws and the screws are pretty nice, but uh, I mean, if this does the job, then whatever. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go from this side. My concern of going from the other side is the staples here. I just don't want them rubbing on the bar and kind of like chipping the sides or anything like that. Okay, so I'm gonna take it back now and say that I definitely prefer the screws better. That is a lot easier to get off. These are quite the pain. All right, so this is what it looks like. I mean with the plastic on, but let's take the plastic off, shall we? Okay, so this is quite a nice touch and a nice surprise. Um, this is the first time I've seen this. They've actually put padding on the ends. Well, just around. You can see the end is actually exposed. There's also padding on here, and I kind of appreciate that. That's pretty cool. And then you can see the nice black here. It's got uh, knurling in the middle, which is nice. This is uh, their all-purpose bar, which is essentially gonna be my beater bar. It's kind of expensive for a quote-unquote beater bar, but should do the job and uh, yeah, should work pretty well. Okay, so well played, Bells of Steel. I really like that these ends were wrapped. So if they could have screws to secure the caps, I mean, this would be the perfect packaging for a bar. That was really nice. I really like that. So I'm kind of hearing some rubbing. And I don't feel like it really should be like that, but again, this is gonna be um, my beater bar, so uh, we'll see if that really makes a difference later on, but. All right, so we're just down to these two boxes, which is the squat rack. And the thing is, I'm running out of time. So I think what I'm gonna do is just open them up. Yeah, that's all I really have time for. Maybe um, I can actually put these weights away. In terms of assembling it, I think it's gonna have to be another day. So, wow, I didn't expect this to take this long, but that's okay. I'm gonna have some more fun tomorrow. Yeah, let's get this opened up and uh, see what we're dealing with. Let's take some of these out. I can recognize, I think, a few things. Not sure what that is. This is really cool. So instead of pins in the rack, you have straps. So first time using straps in a power rack. This is gonna be really interesting. Obviously, two of them. This looks like the cross member on the back. Or is it on the top? Anyway, you'll figure that out. Here we got a multi-grip pull-up bar. I mean, essentially it's gonna be up here. I wanna say this is probably another cross member. Probably up top like this. Whoa, 
what just fell out. Probably the debris from either when it was being painted or when these holes were being drilled out. All right, so this is the back cross member with their Bells of Steel logo right there. Okay, we're almost there. Box one, sounds like a lot of nuts and bolts. Box two. You got the roller J cups here. Oh wait, here are the sandwich J cups. What are the other things? Here's the real star. Okay. Uh, you can see there's some marking, some numbering, but not every hole is numbered. If I really need to, I'll figure out a way. For now, this is fine. All right, so I think I'm out of time for today. That was actually pretty fun. Really long though. So I'll probably see you in a part two of this. That essentially is an unboxing of some of the things that I got from Bells of Steel. I know I skipped through quite a few of them, but that's just because they're like accessories. So um, the meat and bones were this rack, the bar, which you can't see right now, the hex bar, and uh, there's the uh, bench as well. But, but I don't really want to start opening that up unless I can actually put it together. So I'm going to leave it for now. I'm going to come back to this hopefully and uh, should be fun. All right, so I will see you in in the next one. So hey guys, it's me. I just wanted to do a quick voiceover here. Um, this is me essentially getting the power rack together. So of course I have to prep the area. Um, I also did an interesting approach with this rack where I started at the top um, and then without finishing it, um, I started on the bottom. So kind of putting together two halves, if you could say. I don't know if that was the best idea, but I mean, it worked for me. I just didn't want to hold, I just didn't want to be holding things up while trying to screw them, um, just because I'm not the tallest person in the world. And then I also worked on the bench, which you might be able to see I got into a little bit of trouble at the end, but you know, it worked out totally fine. <laughs>